guys, it's Adrian, and today I'm here to bring you my September TBR along with a couple of cool announcements. Last year in September, Trina from Between Chapters did Super September and I loved it. I will leave her video from last year down below. As of filming this video, she hasn't done this year's Sequel September video, so I'm not sure she's doing it again. I am. I loved it. It's a great way to make some progress in some series or finishing up some series that you have been putting off for a long time. So I have quite the ambitious TBR for you and I'm sure that there'll be some audiobooks that I add as well. I'm just not sure which ones I want to read in audio, which ones I want to read in the actual book form. I haven't figured that all out yet. I do have a good six or seven or eight books on this TBR. I encourage all of you to do Sequel September as well. That's why this TBR is going up a little bit early. It's so much fun. Along with Sequel September, I'm doing another 30 day reading challenge. I did this in April and it's where I set a particular goal for myself to read so many pages a day. A lot of times I do a lot of audiobooks so I don't do a whole lot of reading but I do enjoy reading and it helps me fall asleep. So I encourage myself to read more a day. I think last time I set a challenge of like 25 or 30 pages per day and that worked out really well. So I'll be doing that again along with the weekly reading vlogs because you all seem to like those. So those are my two announcements for September. If you would like to participate in School September and the 30 day reading challenge, by all means, please do. It's so much fun. It's worth it. And September is also my birthday month. So prayer prayer for some lots of birthday month entertainment. First off in my CBR is a book that I have been working my way through for two months now. It's very shameful, but I'm going to finish out The Assassin's Blade by Sarah Damas. I have this on my book swapathon TBR as well. I'm hoping to make some progress in it, but I know I'm not going to finish it out by the end of August. So I would like to finish it out in September so that I can finally finish out the Throne of Glass series. This one is a tough one for me to get into because it's a prequel. I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong, it is a good book. But I had just finished out Air of Fire and I really wanted to find out what happened in Queen of Shadows but I know that I had to read this book first, a lot of people said. So I'm kind of going back and it's interrupting the storyline for me, which is frustrating, which is why I'm having a hard time getting through it. It's a good book nonetheless, just I would have preferred to just keep going on with the series. But I'm doing my due diligence. Next up is Ink Exchange by Marissa Marr. This is the second book to the Wicked Lovely series. I did the first book, Wicked Lovely, in my last 30 day reading challenge, so I thought it'd be appropriate to do the sequel in this one. This will be the deciding factor for me if I continue on with the series or not. I liked the first one well enough. It was a good fae book. It wasn't like over the top, blow me away. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. So I'm not sure if I want to continue on with the series. I do love the covers though. They're very pretty. So we'll see. The next two are the ones that I'm most worried about because they are rather long so I might not be able to get to both of them but I'm going for at least one of them. Hopefully Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the last book in the Infernal Devices series. If I don't get to this one in September I will read it in October because it's more of like a sort of spookier ish book but this is the last one and then I have finished out this series. This one is the longest of them all. They are relatively easy to read but they do take a while. Sort of the same thing goes for uh, Days, of, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. This is the second book to the Daughter of Smoke and Bones trilogy. I'm hoping this will probably be on my priority because the other one, the Clockwork Princess book, I can read in October. This one I'd like to get done this month. Again, another really stunning cover. I've got some stunning covers this month. Next up, it will be the first book that I read besides Assassin's Blade in September. It has to be because I have had this book on my shelves for two years and I have yet to read it. And that's The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book to the Remnant Chronicles trilogy. I read the first book, The Kiss of Deception, way before I started my YouTube channel. So like either the end of 2015 or the beginning of 2016. So it's a little ridiculous that I haven't picked this book up yet. And I did like the first book, so I don't know why I haven't done it yet. But September will be the month that it gets done. At least it better be. Next up, I would like to read the last book to the All the Boys I Love Before trilogy by Jenny Han. The last book is called Always and Forever Laura Jean. This was supposed to be a duology and now it's a trilogy. I'm a little perturbed that it's now a trilogy because now I have to read another book and I thought I had finished it. But I'm going to read this one. I'm going to read it on ebook because I don't have a physical copy. I, I like the series enough, but not enough to actually buy it. I'm also going to be listening to Wayward by Blake Crouch. This is the second book to the Wayward Pines trilogy. Again, this is another one that I liked well enough, but I wasn't a huge fan of, so I don't particularly have to have the other books unless I find them really cheap somewhere. So I'm going to be listening to them 
on audio. And last up, if I have time, if I don't have time, again, this will move over to October. I'm going to read God's Grave by J. Kristoff. I've actually been dying to read this book, but I have had so many plans for TBRs and so many things that I've had to read for different reasons that I haven't been able to get through this one. I actually, on my way home from the States for when I had to go back in February for my grandma's funeral, I bought this book and I read the first like two chapters or so and I loved it. I just never got a chance to finish it. So I'm going to be finishing this one either in September or October. I'm hoping for September, but I've got a lot of books that I have to get through. We'll see. So those are all the books that I plan on reading for sequel of September. Keep an eye out for my reading vlogs. I'm going to do them weekly. I'll probably post them on Sunday. I'll do like a Sunday to Saturday thing and then I'll post it on Sunday. So I'll have my regular videos for you as well. So if you're not interested in reading vlogs, I got you covered. If you are interested in doing sequel September and or the 30 day reading challenge, let me know down below. I would love it if more people did the 30 day reading challenge because it's just so much fun and it's just encouraging to kind of pick up your reading, especially as the year unfortunately already is drawing to a close. Um, I, we all want to finish up some of those series, at least I do. I have goals in my reading goals about finishing series that I haven't finished yet. So I would be absolutely thrilled if more of you would participate in the sequel September or the 30 day reading challenge. If you do, let me know down below in the comments so I, we can cheer each other on. I did it with Amanda from Recorded Books and Love last time and it was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.